what's good guys it's dixon from twitter designs and today's video i'm going to show you how i made these designs for this young streetwear brand called michael som fortunately the client already know what they want they sent me this mood board on pinterest um, you can see that the concepts revolve around something like satire um, pop culture almost kind of like parody but i do like these designs personally so i'm quite excited to begin you can also check out this shirt mockups on my store you can use them when you present your designs to your client they're free anyway so just do whatever you want with it link below also guys i'm gonna create more content for this channel so if you like what you see in this video today give it a thumbs up subscribe let's go okay guys so i'm just gonna start right away because i already know what i want i'm gonna use david the statue by michelangelo i'm gonna carve his face full of tattoos so that he looks like a soundcloud rapper i know that sounds weird but i think it's gonna come out pretty cool we'll see Okay, so right now I'm gonna use this photo of this guy uh, as a reference where I should put the tattoos on the statue's face. And then I'm gonna use these doodles as tattoos. I'm gonna try to blend them into the skin or the surface of the statue so that they look real. Now that's done right now i'm trying to find a way to incorporate the word rebel into the design the client actually requested it they want each design to be represented by these keywords that they gave me uh, right now i'm using this orange block to cover the eyes of the statue and then i'm gonna put the text over it but i'm not so sure about it yet i might change it 
Ja uh, vse. Perfect. I think that's pretty much it for this design guys i'm pretty happy with the result um even though the orange box that i made earlier didn't turn out the way i wanted it um, but yeah i do think this version looks better let's move on to the next one okay so for the second design i'm thinking about something ironic i think it would be pretty cool if i put a pet lock around the neck of this dove uh, you get the irony because the duff is supposed to represent freedom so I think that's a pretty dope idea So of the text placement for the second design, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than the first one. I'm going to put it in a circle and then I'm going to, I think that's pretty much it actually. Uh, uh, the reason why I'm going to put it in a circle because I think it's going to make it look like it's more claustrophobic, you know what I mean? Like it's being surrounded by the words uh, so that it emphasizes the, the theme about being locked in. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it.
so guys for the third and final design i'm just gonna start with the text first i don't know why i just feel like it uh, i'm thinking about putting them side by side vertically and then i'm gonna put a money roll in the middle as a design element uh, the client gave me the keyword for this design is control you can pretty much guess the idea so i'm just gonna start from there and see how it goes So I was working halfway into the design and I thought it lacked some kind of element that make it really pop. So right now I'm adding this barbed wire and trying to make it look like it's wrapped around the money so that it has more character. But yeah, I think after this we should be done. So that's how I made these streetwear designs during quarantine. I didn't actually show you guys the process of the other two designs. They're just text anyway, so it's pretty boring. Uh, I do have to mention though, I'm gonna be more active on YouTube from now on. So if you have any kind of video suggestions they want me to make next, let me know comments below. Other than that, stay safe. Catch you next one. Perfect. Perfect.